The migrants of Migrant Academy are loitering, drugging, drinking, and knocking on doors asking for cash. Not even offering to work for cash, just asking for cash. Full, we, we fully accept legal immigration. We welcome those people. Sure. But we do not accept this as the way that Are the is. migrants behaving themselves at Migrant Academy? Uh, this one has been open for only a brief time, about two weeks. However, the hotel in Travis, another part of Staten Island that was turned into a migrant shelter about a year ago, uh, those migrants are not. They are wandering. They're in people's backyards, knocking on doors. They're not working. They're loitering. They're drinking. They're doing things. They're throwing trash. Um, this is not sustainable. What are these people supposed to do during the day? I left a comment about this video, and uh, here it is. It was 16 hours ago. As a multiple times illegal immigrant, whether well, you know, I came to Spain and then uh, straight to the United States. Also, you know, I, uh, I mean, I went to another state. I lived on my own. I try to be productive as well, but I went through the uh, uh, immigration process uh, multiple times. And I was here, I was giving my uh, explanation that, you know, I never, we never asked for handouts and, you know, it, it, we, we would explore where we would try to uh, sustain a living uh, instead of getting high. I couldn't imagine getting intoxicated, coming to uh, a new place, and all I think about was getting high or getting wasted in this and, and such, such things. And this person, you know, this is, uh, I'm going to get to her profile later, but she said, most all immigrants, first of all, most all immigrants, most all, all of all immigrants, most of all immigrants work hard when they come here. They are the ones who pick the crops you eat every day, start business, start business, not businesses, obviously program and create new jobs. Do your research before you, 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 just say you, open your mouth, uh, your mouth. I get it. And uh, I, I, I left her a comment as well, you know. Your research, you sound like a typical ignorant hood idiot. Yeah, that's too uh, too mean of me. Uh, it's the hood I got uh, very disrespected by by those kind of people, and they were actually very rude, disrespectful to me that I even uh, do labor type work, and they were looking down on me, you know. But this person just looks down on me because you know I don't know that they pick crops, which is condescending, and then you marginalize all immigrants that they just pick crops, and that's all they're known for, you know. It's I mean she gives one little. Uh, uh, one little specific job, but it just it it's just such a minuscule. It's like you know, there could be other people that could do a lot more work, and then they start business creating. You know, what does that have to do uh, with with the intoxication part, and you know, uh, 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 just polluting the environment? And here I, I I left her a comment about how you know how she uses poor grammar, this and the other thing, and. Uh, there were my life experiences that I talked about. You know, what research can I do? I know there's some, there are a lot, actually a lot of them that go to work. Um, this video doesn't talk about that. And she's so out of context and so condescending and just such a slap in, his, in the face. Like, you know, that's not even what I'm talking about. I'm not the one that goes and says they're lazy, they're bums, they will never work, this and the other thing. It talks about uh, them being in a certain neighborhood and, you know, hanging around, loading, asking for money, polluting, and some of them getting high or whatever, you know? And, you know, it just, it's, the video has a, a point, and there's a lot of people that just, they go off point and they just marginalize it. And, I mean, this is absolutely a ridiculous person. So, you know, there's a lot of people like that I find in the comment section. There's a lot of people like that that I find in real life. This is uh, this person's uh, YouTube profile which was created roughly a little bit over two months ago. Diana Relas. Nothing on her playlist, no channel she subscribed to. Joined July 7th, 2023, roughly two months ago and goes around, you know, uh, spews nonsense all over the internet.